Welcome to the American Republic, your go-to channel for the latest conservative news updates. Stay informed and please don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Today, we turn our attention to Akron, Ohio, where local businesses are boarding up their windows in anticipation of violent rioting. The city is awaiting a grand jury's decision on the fate of eight police officers involved in the shooting of Jayland Walker, an African-American man, while it is important to exercise our First Amendment rights to freedom of speech and assembly, it is equally important to do so in a peaceful and lawful manner. Unfortunately, the riots of the past few years have shown us that some individuals are willing to engage in destructive and violent behavior. Causing harm to local businesses and the community, we commend the city of Akron for taking steps to prepare for the grand jury results, including building relationships with the community and establishing better lines of communication. However, we cannot ignore the reality of the situation. The riots of the past few years have caused significant damage to local businesses, resulting in lost income and taxpayer money, one local business owner, Chris Sedlock, shared his experience with the Akron Beacon Journal, stating that he invested almost $1 million in his business over the past three years. He has yet to be paid back for his investment, and the riots have caused significant damage to his property. He also expressed concern for other local business owners who are bracing for another potential blow to their companies, it is important to remember that the destructive behavior of some individuals during protests and demonstrations not only harms local businesses but also undermines the message and purpose of the protests. We must find ways to peacefully and lawfully exercise our First Amendment rights while respecting the rights of others and protecting our communities, in conclusion, we urge all individuals to remain peaceful and respectful during the upcoming demonstrations in Akron. Let us exercise our rights in a manner that promotes positive change and unity rather than destruction and division. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more conservative commentary and news in the future, that's it for today's episode of the American Republic. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more news updates.